What up, y'all? I'm gonna drop some fucking sauce in this video. I am going to drop everything that I've learned, essentially, in a very consolidated form over the past, like, 10 years at this point, lifting for basketball, how to maximize your performance, how to do enough so that you get more athletic, you get stronger, you get more injury resilient, but not too much that you become this big old block where you can't move and ultimately you actually just suck at the sport of basketball. I made that mistake. So where do I even start? I'm going to say first off, you need to shorten your workouts. A lot of the time for the weight room specifically, you need to do less. Less is more for hoopers, okay? If you end up over investing and you're spending an hour plus in the gym every single day, you just, as a human being, you're not a god, you don't have infinity energy, you only have so much recovery available, you need to spend a very minimum amount of duration in the weight room, but you should be in the weight room a lot but your workouts should be short. So in the, go in the weight room every day, but only spend 30 minutes in there. That way you don't get too tired and too sore for everything. And um, yeah, side note, uh, this video is gonna be all over the place. Um, but at, just as a side note, I'm gonna go over two other things. Um, I'm gonna be spamming out these videos until I get like the quality really like downloaded with youtube and stuff you really have to build momentum on the platform it's not something like tiktok where you can just like um you know have momentum from the jump you really have to like build up your b-roll footage and everything so while i'm doing that i'm gonna make short little videos like that like this but as just a side note back to the main point another thing that you need to do for um, your joints, your knee pain, if you get Achilles pain, some people get back pain. The biggest thing that you can do to avoid those things, first off is manage your volume on the court and in the weight room. The reason I said to do shorter workouts is because it doesn't tank your body as much, but also with your court work, you never want to do like you never want to spike your workload. So you never want to go in the weight room and do like, you know, for the past year you've been doing X, Y, Z, and then you like immediately add six hours of training a week. That's where you get the, you know, pain, you get flare ups. You need to go gradually, go slowly and slowly build up. Also isometrics, if you don't know what an isometric is, it's just like an exercise where you're holding a position. So a wall sit's a good example, or just like a where you stand on your tippy toes, a calf raise hold, great for knee pain, Achilles pain. Do those for just a minute, one set after your workouts and you're gonna be golden. And then my last point here, um, this is gonna sound like really simple, but in, the weight room your effort on every rep the technique that you use you need to use raging fucking effort when you're ripping that weight up you need to control on the way down so if you're doing a squat for example control on the way down use good form you can get a small bounce out of the bottom if you prefer that but you need to rip like you're going to be jumping essentially because the weight room for basketball players used to develop the general motor and to get you strong generally, to get you powerful, explosive. Endurance is not as much something that you're gonna work on in the weight room. You'd be better off just playing more basketball. That's the best way to get conditioned for basketball is just to play more. So weight room is almost entirely for strength and power. So you have to train everything, lift everything like you're trying to rip it, trying to, trying to jump, trying to you know, really put as much force maximally into the ground because if you're not doing it like your life depends on it, then your body just doesn't adapt because we are survival-based creatures. We humans don't change unless they're forced to, you know? 
we are very lazy in ways, but we're really good at adapting if we really want something, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a ton of content on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you didn't understand or you want me to, you know, elaborate on. But I'm, you know, I've done videos like this in the past where I just chat like this and I enjoy them. But I'm going to start getting in the flow with, you know, the quality. But until then, hope you guys enjoy these videos. Peace.